Mask HQ joining us now. Took a break from the numbers to join us. Uh, is this going to be an early night or a long night, Scott? Uh, you know what? It's even too early to tell for that. We have it looks like about 8% of the total projected vote in. The early vote's been trickling in, mostly in southwest Virginia. We're getting a little bit up in the uh, northern Virginia counties. Right now, it looks good for Youngkin, but it's still too early to tell. Uh, we just got a new dump of data. We want to put that up on the screen uh, right now. Uh, Yunkin, 235,000. Terry McAuliffe, 188,000. It's 5544. What was most interesting to us is we got a dump of data in Loudoun County, uh, one of the key counties to watch. And uh, right now, McAuliffe is up there by about, uh, oh, wow, only seven points with. Uh, Looks about about half of the precinct, half of the vote in. Thoughts? Yeah, no. He, McAuliffe needed to win Loudon by at least seven, and much closer to nine or ten in that early vote dump. I'd have to look and see what the total vote count is, but that's that's it. Looks like a good early number for Youngkin out of Loudon. Yeah, we'll, we'll put up the map of the key counties that we're looking at. Uh, Loudoun County, uh, Prince George's County, down near Charlottesville, the suburbs of Richmond, and then down uh, in Norfolk uh, as well. Uh, Loudoun County, uh, Terry McCall, 57,269 votes. Glenn Youngkin, 49,263, 7%. Uh, separating them. Uh, some of the very early numbers down Norfolk for Br Virginia Beach aren't enough to tell. What's the holdup right now? Are we to believe that that's because there was just so much early vote or something else? Uh, a little bit of that, especially the D.C. suburb counties, what they're doing is they're counting them at precinct locations. They're pre-counting, pre-tallering, and then they have to drive them through D.C. traffic, D.C. Northern Virginia traffic to drop them off at uh, county locations, and then they're tabulated and put up on the website. So that's why we get these rural counties first. These suburban ones take a little bit longer. But a little bit note on that, that loud number, just doing a little bit of back of the napkin math. Um, we expect Youngkin to win election day vote, which will be counted a little bit later in the evening out of Loudoun. Um, and that's a relatively narrow margin. Um, if, if Youngkin wins Loudoun tonight, which is entirely possible, that'd be a huge shift from what that county did, um, how, how that county went for Biden in 2020. And so that's, that's, a, that's a good early sign for the Youngkin campaign. Yeah, Biden won that county, county by almost a two-to-one margin. Uh, Scott Traner, I know you got to get back inside to the decision desk. Uh, come back to us as the numbers roll in, all right? Absolutely. All right. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.